Sergio, thank you for being here. Really appreciate Pleasure. your time. Um, so I'm here with Sergio Gambarini, the president of Ocean Reef Inc. Correct. Could you talk a little bit about your business, what you do? Uh, we are primarily manufacturing scuba diving equipment, but in the area of uh, full face mask and underwater communication. And then we do, we make uh, personal protection equipment like gas mask or escape woods uh, in case of uh, some bad situation. Mm. Yeah. And then we do, um, we make uh, medical uh, components, uh, primarily in uh, silicone or particular compounds uh, for uh, the medical industry and in we make engineering. Engineering means uh, that uh, someone uh, needs uh, to develop a product uh, in which there is uh, injection molding or uh, plastic, silicon, liquid silicon, mechanic uh, and electronic and we try to do the best uh, we can to make uh, the products uh, becoming a real one. Wonderful, thank you. Did you always want to run a business? Uh, you mean uh, when I started? I mean, uh, when you were younger, did you always think that you would be a CEO? No, or no, absolutely president? not. My no. my goal was uh, to become a pilot. I wanted to be to be a jet pilot. Yeah, that was my dream. Then uh, the the life. Uh, uh, I am a chemical engineer, and uh, my dad started uh, immediately after the Second World War. Uh, to make a small uh, laboratory for repairing tires and in any case uh, working in the rubber industry and so step by step I, I was involved and so I, I left my initial dream to be a pilot uh, like Top Gun <laughs> and, <laughs> and I became uh, first of all a simple employee of the company making the most uh, easier job and then uh, step by step uh, growing and becoming all the two. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired you to become an engineer? Uh, my brother, because my brother is uh, older than me. He was already an electronic engineer. So even if I was uh, more creative, I, I wanted to make something else. Uh, I was um, interested about the, the chemistry. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially the um, uh, the, the, the chemistry of hydrogen, uh, the carbon, uh, so the organic uh, chemistry. That was, uh, was very interesting for me. And what did you learn as an engineer that helps you now in running your business? Engineer uh, is very useful because uh, it is a, a way to organize uh, your, uh, uh, your project. It's a very schematic, uh, you create a business plan, uh, you create the targets, uh, you create uh, the proper uh, um, segmentation to run uh, in a proper way uh, a job. Because the inspiration and perception are very important. Mm -hmm. However, the, the key point is that we need really to be pragmatic. It's like a mix you know, in which uh, you have uh, to, on one side you have the dream, mm -hmm. and on the other side you have a material, pragmatic result. If you stay on uh, one of these side, I, I feel that uh, you risk to fail because uh, or you are too straight uh, or you are too dreamer. Yeah. And many people are failing because they feel that their hobby may become a business. Mm -hmm. The key point is to stay in the middle and try to make uh, this uh, cocktail uh, in a proper way. I love that. And you are somebody who's also very creative. You have a lot of creative ideas. Where did that come from? Is that something that's always been a part of you? My, you know, it's, this is a beautiful question because uh, in reality, even if I was in a great family, and I, w I was pretty alone. I mean, I, my, when I was young, I, was, uh, um, I had no many friends. So my inspiration came from the fact that I wanted to create the teams. I wanted to create a connection with the people. Wow. So for example, when I was 12 years old, I started to organize Olympic games on, uh, during the summertime to catch the attention of other uh, boys and girls and making uh, games and but just to stay together. And that is uh, probably the, the key point of my personality. I, I wanted to unify the people. I wanted, mm. not for me, but just because I feel that is a, 
is very good to have interaction, to have friends, to have uh, to have a life of um, in which everybody can bring uh, her or his uh, personality. Hmm. Nice. So you've always been somebody who's mixed creativity with structure, bringing people together, and also kind of the pragmatic side, as you call Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. When I was already involved in the business. Uh, I face uh, a challenge. Uh, the, in Italy, there are many uh, scuba diving companies, mm. but everybody was the enemy of the other one. Mm. So I said to myself, we needed to make a, a, a team, we needed to make an association. And it took me seven years uh, to wow. put everything together. But I felt that uh, being united, uh, we were able to make much more things than mm. to be isolated. But it was really a challenge because everybody wanted just to fight and to be individualist. That was the, 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 the one and uh, another step of my life. Mm. How do you feel you were able to unify people? Listening. Listening everybody. Wow. And listening and try to... Um, to say what they, to be right, to be, to be totally correct, because I think that ethic is a key point. But in the meantime, um, you cannot uh, fight uh, with somebody that has a different vision. Mm -hmm. You need to surround uh, the person, to, uh, to accept even, uh, it's not good to say compromise, because compromise is always uh, bad, mm -hmm. but, uh, be trying to unify the people because uh, if they realize that uh, together they can do something more, finally, um, but you may have to. Okay, I don't want to use bad words, <laughs> but uh, you know, you have, you may find bad people that mm. those don't want to listen. Yeah. but the majority are good. The majority. Do. Yeah. Yeah. So I've heard a lot of different skill sets that you have, which I imagine are very useful in running your business now. One is your ability to unify people, bring people together as a leader. Um, another is your creativity. Another is how pragmatic you are and structured. Um, and then also your ability to listen. So I imagine those are skills that you use regularly as a leader. Yeah, I try. I try to do my best. Um, dedication is very important. Yeah. It's um, some time is necessary to work uh, 12, 14, 15, 16 hours per day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is impossible to have a, a normal weekend. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I think that uh, we are in this planet for uh, a reason. Mm -hmm. And maybe I am a dreamer in that case. But I think that uh, one of the best things is to see people happy around us. Mm -hmm. So my my goal, for example, yes, of course, I have to run my private company and the company must uh, gain money because otherwise uh, I cannot uh, survive. Yeah. But in the meantime, uh, it's in my obligation at, uh, at a certain time to uh, create uh, jobs, uh, to um, create opportunities. Maybe it's better to say opportunities mm -hmm. because uh, then you may... Uh, make, you may catch the opportunity. I mean, you, you decide to, to, to follow that uh, direction. But it's up to you. It's, uh, everybody can decide the, the future. Not everybody, maybe, but the majority of the people, they can. Yeah. And what would you say to people who want to become a business leader and to people who would like to get into the type of work that you do? The first uh, recommendation is that uh, they have to choose what they want from the life. Mm. And I personally believe that uh, it's uh, to choose in between a career and a, and a family. But uh, you may mix both if, if you respect both uh, things. Uh, it's necessary to be very dedicated to what you do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that uh, it's important to create a, a team around you that is really uh, supporting you like a leader. This is the, these are the key points. But the dedication, if you have something in mind, you have to go up to the end to try, at least. You may lose, but you, you, you have to try. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for your words. <laughs> okay.